Um, <clears throat> oh, hey. You can see we just finished uh, covering the Halo Demons at your boy. We are already on a 10 hour stream. Straight off Kovrunk. I haven't even gotten out of this seat. But we're, we're going to jump right into Remake. Though I need to do some stuff really quick. So I just realized I haven't changed the stream over. Do, 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 do. Then change the game, Resident Evil. I guess we need to put HD. Yeah, it's Chronicles. Yeah, we're already at 10 hours, and here, here my dumb ass is getting it again. Uh, I do need to do one more thing. You probably notice at the bottom of my stream I keep a copy of what game we're playing, like in some additional info about it that's not available on Twitch. And that's something I have to manually do. Thankfully I already had this one ready to go. So we're good as is. Let me get started. <clears throat> yeah, we're doing it right now, buddy. <laughs> We're doing it right now. Loading content, please do not. Yeah. I don't know why it's going through all this, but yeah. We are we are hot off the heels of the Code Veronica run, and we're just going to jump into Remake with Jill. Why is there so many screens at the beginning of this? So I will tell you that I do have um, stuff saved. Like I already have a file cleared with Chris and a file cleared with Jill. And I'm like after the last one clear it. <laughs> I don't even care. New costume has been unlocked. Ooh, wow. So we've got Resident Evil 1 Chris. We've got that one, which is a mess. And then we've got BSAA Chris. And then we've got, which I think is actually weird. Oh, they added that in later. Then we've got RE1 Jill. The um, Terminator Jill. Oh. Chat. It's between regular RE1 Jill and BSA Jill. What, what are we feeling? Is this just going to be a story run? Yeah, personally, I'm feeling BSAA. Oh, God, it's split. If I can get one more vote to break it. Hmm. Oh, I also got to flip a coin. Dusty the BSAA. Fair enough. I really hope this won't be too terribly long. <laughs> I mean, just a week ago, I went through the normal one. Alex also said BSA. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. Um, I think I do for Jill. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate. 
but we lost. In which case, I will be using them. We are not here for a hard time. Bravo <laughs> team's helicopter was a derelict. I did kind of a speed run. Um, I was able to clear a little over two, no, three hours, I think. I'll show y'all here in a minute. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. So what I did was I looked up a speed run by Bakwa Suit, and then I literally wrote down all the directions. And then I just, like, did it myself. It took me a couple tries to do it. I still end up losing like an hour. So I'm not a speedrunner, nor do I claim to be. But I used it for my hard playthrough to make it a little bit easier. I just realized I never turned my camera back on for Veronica. It'd be like that, I guess. Hi there. Alex, how'd you run this game go? You're a speedrun. Run for that mansion. No, not that mansion, the scary mansion. Hey, Rack! Where the hell's he going? The Chris run through is probably going to be more traditional. Chris this way. Because when I played on his, I think I played on either easy or very easy. Just to get acquainted with the game. I can't remember what's difficult to do. But then when I played on Jill, I played hers on hard to get the clear. And went from like a six hour run to like a two hour run. Enter the survival horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't ah. Have that always brings such comfort to me. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? I do love her BSA no. outfit. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back. It was two forty five, very nice. Alright. You two go. I'll secure this area. When we get control Stay of Jill, sharp. like we don't risk like skipping a cutscene or anything, I'll go to what my time was because I have it on the results screen for her. Look at the size of that a magnum. Oh, um, I mean, probably, but like, I also wasn't really too worried about speed running it. Like I, like I said, I did it to make it easier. What was my time? I did it in 242. This was on hard mode. I defeated 38 creatures, shot 91 bullets, and used 9 health items. And that was like just to show like I did it on hard difficulty at that speed. And I also did it without saving, I think. Yeah, I did Chris's on very easy. I don't know what the playtime was on that one. But I want to say that that was... Also without saving. 
Yeah, we got the three hour trophy. Yeah, and we also did it with no saves. That was. <laughs> we got so much shit during that run. It was awesome. Oh, right. Look at this big thing that we got. Yeah, it's gonna be an easy run. I think you'd better take a look at this. <laughs> it's gonna be an easy run. Uh, I'm fine with it. We're just here for story. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. Just celebrating the series a little bit. Hope it's not Chris's. I earned this after doing Code Veronica in one sitting. Mostly blind too. I earned this. The fucking rocket launcher. I really like that they like tried to recreate the cutscenes as accurately as possible, but still give them that little bit of, you know, make them look better. Bob, save me, Barry. Hey, Whitey, we've been here for ten hours already, dude. It's good to see you, my friend. What is it? Look out! We finished Code Veronica in a single fucking sitting, because I'm stupid. Let me take care of it. And I was like, I'm gonna play a remake for Jill. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. So we got reported to West here. Got it. Let's see where I just went through Will's Um Or where I just went through Jill's story like a little over a week ago. It should be fairly fresh in my mind what to do. Wesker But at the same time I know the mansion's bigger Jill, too. Help me look for it. Because I know you have to like do stuff with the death mask and stuff, and that's just not even in the original. Wait, is it? Yeah. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other yeah, side. Yeah, we're not even gonna, like, fuck around with, <laughs> with too much. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. You, the master of unlocking. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Oh, see, I wish Savvy was here. Okay. She went to bed, but if Savvy was here, she'd get to see that they actually made the dialogue a little less cheesy. And she was ripping on this game for the dialogue, which is fair. The dialogue is amazing and terrible at the same time. It feels weird not having to hold a button to run. Like, I'm okay with it, but it feels weird. Wait, hold on. Let's go ahead and get this shit. If it's anything like the original game. Cause Jill can just straight up do this part. You probably don't have to worry about them becoming a crimson head. Ooh, okay. So they took down the door at the back and let you come straight down to the kitchen if you want. 
Oh, there's a lot more locked doors. Okay. Because I remember on the original one, Jill could just go straight in there. It's locked from the other side. That's fair. I could have inspected Kenneth's body for ammo, but why bother? There I send you to one of these new hallways. Those herbs feel so like big and out of place. You have to excuse me if you see me jolt around in different directions. I'm using controls that I've kind of grown to not be used to. have to like really think about it. Alright, it looks like it can be removed. Cool. It's locked from the other side. You unlocked it. Mm. Oh, they added another door up here. Okay. We'll still take these because having defensive items is nice. Basically, if you get grabbed, you can use one and free yourself. Yeah, like this is this is our victory lap for doing Code Veronica in in one sitting. Which I like. I've been stressing about it all week. That's kind of another reason why I didn't stream because I probably could have manage on like Wednesday and Thursday but I was just like fuck do I really want to like try to learn Code Veronica and like go through all that and spend a whole weekend doing it you know I, I was legit stressing it for no reason no apparent reason um what is this door it's locked on the other side no I don't remember that door See, this is going to fuck with me because I'm used to uh, Resident One Director's Cut. So, like, all these doors being locked and stuff is actually really strange. These doors were not locked like this. Especially Jill. Jill could kind of go wherever she wanted, whenever she wanted. Here, they really limit her. They they definitely want her on the first floor. Like, okay, we'll let you go up to the second floor, but... You're not going to do shit up there. That's fine. I know we need to use the arrowhead in the graveyard. <clears throat> oh yeah, they made this like semi worthwhile. Bum bum, bum bum bum, bum bum. <laughs> the closet door is locked. I didn't realize that was a door. So they don't let Jill through that door. 
They did before, they don't now. And I'm very certain this one is locked. It's locked, and we'll have a helmet. Huh, so the mansion's really limited for her at the start. I wonder if they change around what doors are locked based on what difficulty you're playing. If you're playing a really easy difficulty, maybe they actually do lock more of the doors. So that way, like, you don't fuck around in rooms you don't need to be in. Oh. <clears throat> a tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. See, now I got used to pressing the touchpad to, like go into the menu because I just did it for 10 hours straight there's a I don't think you can do it with this control scheme but there's a way to like glide up and down these stairs I'm pretty sure you need the other control scheme to do it book is fitted perfectly in the indentation we take the book of curses and then if we check that book out there's a key on the back. We got the mansion key. Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. I know on, so I was playing this on the Switch, I remember, like, I was going through this, I, uh, I did a very, like, casual playthrough, just very recently, like, back in February, um, I was playing through, this was actually to prep for this run, because I was like, fuck, I don't remember shit about Remake. Um, okay, it's a sword. And I I got I I think I'm through the guardhouse, maybe. We're gonna unlock what we can along the way here. I know that this opens up a lot more. So the sword key, Chris has to get the sword key in director's cut. So maybe they just want to make it a more consistent experience for Chris and Jill. Oh, is this going to lead out to the, uh, the main hall? Isn't there supposed to be doggos out here? I may be ahead of myself. Yeah, let's see where it leads. Mystery solved. Okay. Cool. So it is that door. Like, they just added a whole balcony out there. Noted. I do know that taking this will get us down to where we can unlock some more cool shit, assuming there's no surprises along the way. been through that door like it's there on director's cut but I never went through it on either um the other character oh okay well hey that's unlocked that's fine we actually want to go downstairs, though. Okay. 
Does this not fire down? I mean, small price to pay, but yoinks. It does. Looks like this one's been dead for several hours. looks so much better than the original. This old typewriter find the ink and I can save my progress. There are several kinds of scrim here, many of them are of a sickly color. Oh, we also have an infinite ammo handgun. That's the thing that we have. Oh, and the closet key, I guess, if we want to change our outfit later. We're going to carry that around with us for safekeeping, but... Yeah, I don't see us really having problems in this run. Broken shotgun, just some furniture. Sure, we'll take the battery pack. That's an iconic scene. We gotta watch it. Oh, okay. It's nothing but cleaning products. It smells faintly unpleasant. Which is weird considering it's cleaning products. BSAA Jill is my second favorite Jill outfit. My first being Revelations 1 Jill. Revelations 1 Jill literally brings me life. He's going to be a Crimson Head later. I think he's like your first like introduction to a Crimson Head if you... Oh, uh, we don't have the thing for this. Rip. I'll be back. Um, yeah, if you don't like run into Crimson Heads any like sooner then you'll definitely run into him like I want to know what the fuck this gun even is it's got like yeah it's a rocket launcher but like it's got a big old clip it's got a little scope it's got laser sights uh, it looks like a a foldable stand like they just threw whatever accessories they could on this thing to make it look as ridiculous as possible oh it's armor okay well I'll just eat shit I guess Only they had the Fortnite noises down here in the kitchen. Fart, fart. Doodly do. Fart. Oh boy, I hope he doesn't get up later.
Oh no. Still snoozing, I guess. Yeah, I do like that the enemies like they don't go anywhere. They they stay right where you kill them. And there's no power. Okay. I'm like going around. I have to like kind of rewrite everything I knew about director's cut. And like update like my, my mental map. So that's why I'm kinda just like wandering and exploring. I'm a little bummed I can't get in there. Cause I feel like it'd be fairly inconsequential for me to like go and play the Moonlight Sonata. Do I need this now? I'm probably gonna put the emblem up. Cause I really feel that having it is kind of pointless right now. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. We gotta actually make some progress here on the other side of the house. Like, we'll get the shotgun even though we don't need it, because the scene's just too worth it. This is your one free time through this hall. The next time you come through, it's it's hammering time. I actually, didn't go in there because I know the chemical to use on plants is through there. They give it to you pretty soon. At the very least, it's a it's a free kill. <laughs> They'll make it work for it. I know they made this hallway a lot more dangerous, like, later on. That hallway doesn't really stay all that dangerous. Of course we'll take the shotgun. Ha! Huh. Why wouldn't we? Nothing bad could happen because we took this shotgun. Ceilings come down faster. Oh, God, what did I 
I do now. Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. <laughs> really? Mary, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh, they do that weird thing in Remake where they, they limit the amount of times you can go through one of these doors. Wow. Yeah, restart the whole run. Spencer family emblem. We'll go in here just to just to see what's there. We forgot to get that chemical. Which I may end up being Ready spaghetti about. Like we'll we'll get this thing filled up. But you know, I think without the lighter ends up being pretty useless anyways. Wow, we got the shot off, but not only did my defensive item fail, but the bolt, the rocket went through him. Amazing, truly. Get fucked. Oh, there's all sorts of healing in here and shit. Unlit fireplace. This is a helmet key. Yeah, I remembered something. We're making decent progress. Because once we have this mansion pretty cleared out, we'll be able to just kind of zip right through and do what we need to do. So I think this is armor. Yeah, that's fine. Then... Alright, so we need the armor key, which, if I remember right, is in a totally different place.
There's something going on outside my window. Crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one can find it. I had this idea. I figure if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. You ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person to get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you boys want to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out for both of us. John Tolman. I thought I was going to get a lighter in here. Yeah, I was going to get the lighter in here. I was going to say, they, they got to give it to me. Because uh, we've already unlocked kerosene at this point. Alright, so since we got the dog whistle. Oh, wait, no, we can. It's way faster to go this way. I lied. Especially where we got that sword key out of our inventory. We can just cut across the balcony. But that's also down pretty low. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I found. No, really. What? Keep them. A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Barry's my boy. We're still getting fucking mauled. was hidden inside the collar, but wait, if we examine the coin, it changes into the shape of a key, but it's an imitation of a key, because it's going to turn into the real armor key soon enough. There's just those green herbs chilling out there. Um, well, we can go through here. This is fine. We're right next to where we need to be. This place is probably going to turn into a madhouse once we get the. Uh... Yeah, let's 
he comes out. He is down for good. So now we can actually get the armor key. May whoever takes this emblem find peace and death. Yeah, they put this here just to fuck with people. locked and the emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. Well, we'll need to remember that. Yeah, lots more locked doors. And now, since we've seen our first crimson head, now it's kind of free, free reign. Does any of them have the capability of just hopping on up? Make themselves comfortable. Um... Alright, we have all sorts of doors we need to be unlocking. That's right. As far as that dude did like springboard up and be like, oh, where all the action at? Yeah, we're supposed to be using that chemical here, but we're super not. Do we even have, yeah, we have the defensive items set. We just ain't been using them. Oh, well, at least we'll be able to put in that blue gem now. Okay. Make sure there's nothing of interest in there. Or of immediate interest, I should say. We're going to have to go through the dog hallway again. Where I forgot to get that chemical. This is where I should be using it. not be interested in it how far are you in already we're doing okay um more locked doors than I remember dude you're still playing yes we are almost on hour 11 but we are in a different game technically we beat code Veronica earlier it took almost 10 hours no big deal Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from Security and Steve from Research. 
Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. <coughs> May 10th. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of the new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. Then they put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this way. Then maybe this is their way of getting back at me for feed, not feeding them the last three days. Who may find out? I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratch the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy, tasty. Took care of that little zombie problem. I'm giving myself this really easy run as as a treat for doing Code Veronica in one sitting and not like over the course of the weekend. Oh, we need to put together the Moonlight Sonata. That's that's a difference that I actually forgot about. Um, because it's not just like here by default. Expensive looking grand piano. It's like Jill can play it. That's easy peasy. Yeah, if this is the middle sheet, we're just going to leave that shit there for now. I forgot all about that. Yeah, they split up the uh, Moonlight Sonata into two, like, I want to say two different parts. And you gotta find both. What's my inventory look like? Lighter, key. I need to put these two things up, but otherwise we're doing great. Yeah, I've earned this run. I was like, Code Veronica doesn't even have, like, an easy mode. Hmm. What you get is what you get. That knife, though. God, that Code Veronica knife. I underestimated the hell out of that knife. And, like, I've heard people talk about that knife over the years, but, like, man, what a knife. Oh, okay, so we have a little bit of, of housekeeping to do here. We need to get the chemical, uh, the chemical to use the plants. That's what our free item spot needs to go towards, even though we use it on the other side of the house. Yeah, we use it on the other side of the house. Dogs. Whoops. Where the fuck were the dogs?
There were supposed to be dogs. And there's dogs. It's gonna be a bitch when they all turn into crimson heads. <laughs> uh, that brings me joy. That oh boy ain't right, I tell you what. Nanny. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you need to get yourself in trouble, Barry. So the fact that Barry has already left his ammo, this normally doesn't happen until um, until much later. Like when you're returning back from like the, the back area. Is there anything I need the lighter for? Like, probably a map, sure, but like... Sun right after. I'll be doing that in my sleep. Oh shit, you're right. Jerry, thank you. <laughs> you're right. I forgot all about it. I mean, it wouldn't have been like the worst backtrack in the world to come down here to get it, but still, you are totally right. We need it for the candles. Because I forgot, not only is that room, like I know what room it's in, it's in that side room, uh, by where Richard's at. Armor? Armor? Good. I'm trying to get rid of this armor key. I think these are the last two doors that use it. I don't know, I might be able to use it on the downstairs door too. Yeah, I think we gotta use it downstairs. We're gonna do it real quick. That's where we use the closet key. If we want, and change our outfit. Oh, bullshit. Helmet. Alright. I'll go eat shit later. <laughs> Works for me, I guess. Ow. What do you think the music in this? Oh, it's fantastic. Like, it's, it's a little bit more ambient. Like, I wouldn't say, like, iconic at all. Richard! What happened? Richard got fucked You're up. You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. It's called a go on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks.
Yeah, they, they definitely put a lot more effort into the soundtrack on, on this particular one. Um, which is nice. Oh, I'm probably gonna have a crimson head right in my face. No, that's not what I thought. Wrong door. I guess either I could have been fine one way or the other. Oh, he hadn't turned yet. What about this one here at the bottom of the stairs, though? No, I guess some of them just don't turn. They're they're taking forever. I wonder if I can kill Yawn in the first encounter. Is there even benefit to doing that? just crawls away. Mm. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Okay. The others. Ooh. She's touching his mangled arm. Like you can literally see like all the muscles and shit. This is what we brought the lighter for. Boom. Eat shit. Alright, so the Moonlight Sonata is our next goal, so we can now finish that. We need the shield key to actually do the on fight. We also have that chemical we need to use. Is that on this side? No, it's on the other side of the house. We're going to run and do that really quick to get that key. Or is it, is it a key or a death mask? It might be a death mask. Either way, it's something I have to do.
I know how rockets come out of things. This looks like a giant silencer at the end of that gun. Like it's absurd. <laughs> <sighs> of course, now that we're at this point, I start to feel a little sleepy. and learned I guess and so that's a death mask just ruin those herbs alright so you always do red and just red that hurts a little bit we'll be alright but... same also didn't know that he had iframes there. Good to know. Alright, so we're gonna have to do a little inventory management here. So I'm, I'm carrying around too too many story items not like actually getting them where they need to go oh really I have to do this again okay probably because I can collect the item that's probably whatever tells the game to actually save where that goes alright so let me use that there I remember playing uh, the Lost in Nightmares DLC for Resident Evil 5 with Miggins and I was playing as Jill Simpson there you know, la -di da da tapping on the piano and he's over dicking around I'm sitting there having like dudes button inputs I'm like come on Miggs let's go got shit to do You know, Zambinis to shoot. Alright, so we'll have to come back to this in, like, literally a few seconds. Because I need to get that emblem again. Yeah, I didn't know you with those. I was, I was curious, so I was like, well, this is the run to play around and figure shit out. I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. I'm surprised that one hasn't gotten up yet. In. JK. Trevor's Diary. November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. 
But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you're safe. How can I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter. The one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be much that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 27th. I somehow managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. So one thing I want to I wanna do is if I go back to this <laughs> and you read the actual diary, it says if you're reading this, no one before... Ada, as far like this is Ada. And then I, I see self destruct system material from the visual data room. Like this the the image of this is taken from something much later in the game. Yeah, this is the, the memo that John writes to Ada. That's what that picture is, like the actual words written on it. It's the, It comes from that memo. There's a lot of words that you could read off of that. Yeah, a little bit of... I like how he mentions the uh, the tiger eye and stuff. Like, bro, I already. When the two have run each other through, so Red has a picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, so the red one has the short sword. While the long sword has pierced the head of the other. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. So you can turn the gears. So, short sword was through the breast. Long was through the head. That's that's exactly what it looks like. Oh no, just kidding. Um, so we're gonna do small. Fuck. It's literally the opposite way uh, that it needs to be. is a new key. Wow. Means helmet key. No, shield key. Alright, so it's, it's about that time, huh? Fair enough. Let's go drop off his death mask, though. Because I really don't want to carry all four of them in my inventory. And we can drop it off right here.
I'll still fuck that yawn up though, because I honestly think that's safer for me. I'm terrible at the yawn fight, especially on the original game. I might have to give me some more Kentucky swamp water here in a little bit. The only really good thing about it is that it, um. Yeah, I guess right. Go me. Um, it doesn't have caffeine. It's basically like a ginger ale. No, I never even fucked with this. It's locked from the other side. Oh. So we have to get in there to get through there. I probably could have gotten in there while I was on that side of the house. But whatever. Zeus so on fight. Maybe we'll get poisoned and get a cutscene. I'll try not to, but might happen. Hey Richard, don't go anywhere. Saved Richard. Thanks. Just kidding, we didn't save shit. We almost saved Richard. Richard! Okay, bye. Oh, you get his shotgun now. Oh, that's what that was for. Oh, they took out that weird, um... There was a barrier right here. Okay, well that makes that a little bit easier, to be honest. in these shotguns. <laughs> we just need the death mask. Richard, you stupid fuck. If he would just stayed out there, he would have lived. Probably. At least a little bit longer. Oh, that killed him instantly. Sweet. This one's a lot more deadly than the original incantation of it. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Fuck no, we're not pressing it. Something in this depression, but the grate is in the way. You can't reach it. I don't remember the order for this.
if any of those guys are out, I'm pretty sure they fuck you up. Mysterious box. Oh, there's all sorts of buttons on this thing. Sunshine will awaken me. So just have one more, and I know where it's at. It's down this way. I guess you can at least kind of tell if they're about to turn into Crimson Heads. I wonder if the game limits how many can spawn in a room. I don't know, I'm, I'm really interested in the, uh, the mechanics for it. Not interested enough to, like, play the game properly, but... They give you like two two times you can go through this door before it breaks. I hate it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that was spicy. Oh, these are the punishment crows. So a green tiara, a purple necklace, and a like orangish red bracelet. A bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. No. Hold up. It's supposed to be green. Oh, okay. So you literally just had to change them all. Yeah. We did it. Got our, got our final death mask. Now we get to meet Daddy Crimson Head. And we've also unlocked a super cool shortcut. Thanks to the existence of the cemetery. Let's try to figure out where this shit goes. I'm awful with putting the death mask where they're supposed to go. Like, the things on the walls do not, 
Like, do not immediately call it to me. Stone and metal object. That's all we need to go back, isn't there? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I think that's all we need to go out back these days. And then they have the original crest out there if you want to get the magnum. Which we're probably not going to fuck with, but it's, it's still in the game. They just repurposed it a little bit. Next time I'm in this house, it's going to be full of hunters. Probably. Good dog. Took out the uh, the stair thing. So, uh, since there's some kind of signpost, each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. The Valley of Destruction. Destruction, hatred, madness, revenge. I just have me heading that direction, so tiki. Guess I'm gonna fuck around and find out. Hey, later, Planet Jerry. Thanks for hanging out, man. So, the War Cry Revenge. Hey, Moss. Good to see you, man. So it's destruction and revenge. And that's red eyes is revenge. Much appreciated. See where we had that cutscene, I can't remember what I was doing. Uh, revenge is west, so red west. Fuck. There we go. And destruction. What direction is destruction? It is north. Uh, 
I should do it. Oh, you know, just 11 and a half hours into a stream. I literally streamed since, like, I got up. I did some stuff for about an hour. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Some written on this indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine the heavens. Cool. We'll get that shit later. I'll, I'd like to finish this today, but we'll see. How's our health doing? We are fine. Probably ought to get our first save in at the very least. Oh man. Yeah, I've been at, at the stream for a while. Get the map of the courtyard. Yeah, we've been at it for a minute, man. I hope you're doing good, though. From here, you got a good view of the entrance of the cabin. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Will you take the crank? Hell yeah. Oh boy, howdy, will I ever. Let's, let's do our first save. Family picture. This is drawn left by someone. 19. Daddy attacked first. Mom attacked second. Inside red and slimy, white and hard. Not true mom, where? To no dad. Found mom again. When attacked mommy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. So typewriter, you save your progress. Yeah, let's do it. Just because I don't want to fuck up the screen. Any reason. Phew. They say they like triple save your fucking game. It takes forever. Carrying out a shotgun. I just realized I had no reason to have that in my inventory. I've been carrying that around for a while. Bonk! Please, Trevor, no.
So I'd say most of the folks in our stream know who Lisa Trevor is. But um, she's unique to the remake. She was put in as like kind of a tyrant-ish character. Still not exactly like a tyrant, but like she's more of like a, a stalking like type character. So that crank right. I still have no idea why she knocks you out. Just to like let you wake back up totally unharmed. blast him every time I run through here too. Watch me. Brad, you punk ass bitch. Jill to Brad. You Can always you hear been me? punk ass bitch. Shit, it's broken. The only time he was any any kind of a decent character, beginning of RE three remake. I should also say that they also had no no good boy left in them. Oh. Yeah, like this part is is pretty much just like the first game. Scene to actually be the, the drainage of water. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. They probably put that in as a hint. Because uh, I'd say one thing that was probably a little like difficult to figure out in the first game, like the original version, was the fact that the water status here impacts whether or not there's a waterfall later. Oh, did they think that the snakes were dumb? I mean, I'd agree. The snakes were dumb. You could literally just run by them every time. As long as you didn't stop moving. Not, this thing sucks against crows. You can't hit shit with it. 
So we're about to go to the guardhouse. Why not? It's a full heal. Uh, there's the falling snakes. So I didn't think they were stupid, they just repurposed them. Well. Alrighty then. Oh, no statue. Weird. Oh, right, they made it a box. Which is probably a little bit more sensical in this otherwise nonsense mansion. Um, safe room. All sorts of cool stuff in here. I kind of want to put those other ink ribbons in there, like just as a backup. Six? Holy shit. Uh, we'll never need more ink ribbons after that. Alright, so let's get through here. Oh, it's locked. They probably wanted to give you a reason to come in this room. Look at that. What horse shit, huh? There's another one in here. He's up here. I think we took care of him. Nord oil lamp. Oh shit, we need the lighter, don't we? Some blue balls, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but. Much prefer to have blown them up, but yeah, take take what you got. We take the red book, bandage with blood. Yeah, I mean, if they're making you come here for the red book, that that pretty much tells you what you need to know. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Yeah. Yeah, there is. I wonder if they're going to make me actually do the, that puzzle with the lighter. Because I don't really remember ever doing that. Also, we make fucked up on the placement of that thing. That's gonna be unfortunate. No, 
wasn't a part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? I feel like I still left that map there. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, come on. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. What a liar! Maybe I'll go outside and get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The, the plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Though, although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has dr drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine the original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We also notice that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. So they've been dealing with this for months up to this point. If that was May, this is... July? And they've let things get this bad. Is this the O one or O two or yeah, it's the O one key. All right, we know where that goes. Ah, uh, yes. Let's not aim for him. That was terrible. I was anticipating the auto aim to like whip my character around. So I get the shot. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, we fucked up and never heard that cutscene on uh, on our original game run. That's fair. I figured that would be. I wish I could like take care of that since I fucked up moving that box. Oh. Well, shit, he's just hanging out, okay. Did he take the self defense gun? No. Old bookcase. The books are mostly concerned with literature and philosophy. Bit shows signs of having been used. It's a little dirty water. Pull the plug, you bet. There's something inside the bathtub. It's the control room key. See, that's what I was expecting in the last room. Stairs now, but that's going to be in. Let's see, I wish we could reset this box. We just fucked up. That's going to get me every time. So I had somebody post on my Facebook, so is macaroni and cheese mac because it's short for macaroni? Or is it because mac is an acronym for mac and cheese? I feel like it's because it, it's short for macaroni because saying mac and cheese is redundant. Because you can't say mac and cheese and cheese. Let's see how they handle this box puzzle down here. Oh, they actually put a door. It's actually on the other side. If I remember right, one of the quality of life things was certainly the fuck not that. Uh oh. Hopefully reset this box puzzle. So otherwise, that would just be terrible game design if, if they like would not under any circumstances reset those boxes. Like if you fucked up. I still remember there being a Resident Evil game where you could push multiple boxes at once. I guess this wasn't it. Yeah, they really did expand this section down here now that I remember. They didn't want this to be the like two minute section that it was in the original. Because really, you could blow through this part in no time. Like, you had to come back down here one more time to use the Vigil. 
and that's it. Look what you do that. You're good. Hell, you didn't even have to like fight the actual sharks or nothing down here, which I guess you still technically don't. Sure, don't mind if I do. Oh wow. We were more fucked up than I realized. God, we died. Ooh. Where did we save? I feel like it wasn't that long ago. Ooh. Depending on where it is, that might be where I cut it. Is oh boy, it was a cabin. So we have to go through the entire back area again. About 20 to 25 minutes worth of stuff. Yeah, I think I think we're going to cut it there, gang. Because we're about to hit the 12-hour mark. Your boy's tired of shit. So much for sleeping. I can't believe you're still going. Yeah, well, I'm I'm literally wrapping this shit up. <laughs> We're hitting twelve hours. Uh, I'm I'm sleepy. I want to have my door open. Yeah, I'm gonna try. It'd only take a nap. And when we come back, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna try to clear Chris's as well so we've got another another good stream coming up hopefully in just a few hours but yeah i'm surprised i'm still going to savvy i was saying though earlier before i cut this that i was wishing you were here for this one since we we we're on a new game now we finished up the last one um and you could hear that the dialogue is just like a little less cheesy like, it's still pretty cheesy, but it's a little less. Um, I have wanted you to be able to hear it for the difference, but you'll be able to hear some of it. I'll probably let those cutscenes play again tomorrow. But, yeah, gang, I'm going to go ahead and take a rest. Thank you for uh, for everyone who's popped in. We've got we got new followers. We've got new subs. It's It's been a wild stream. Definitely one of the more memorable ones. I never thought I'd clear Code Veronica in one sitting. Even though it took almost 10 hours, we did it. So I'm really proud of that. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Be safe. Be kind. And I'll catch you all later.